Hello. I wanted to introduce myself. This is a, a new channel. Um, trying trying to get my uh, car stuff separate from my other uh, home business. But, uh, my channel name is Heavy Heavy Mechanic Two. And right now I have an associate degree from a junior college. I also have a one year diploma in business administration from the same school. I've worked in the uh, repair trades doing various types of repairs for close to 20 years. I started out as a, a laborer and I worked myself into the garage and I ended up in a machine shop where I did uh, engine builds for several years, uh, a lot of hydraulics and then uh, I went, went back to college after I become injured. Don't worry, the injury didn't happen on the job. It was something non-related. And uh, right now I have six certifications in heavy truck from ASE. And I recently challenged the A9 exam in automotive, which covers light diesel, uh, like in the uh, pickup trucks and things. And... Uh, I understood that test was very, very difficult, very hard to pass, and, and it, it, it covered a lot of information, but I didn't have any trouble with it. I just, the guy at ASE, he looked at my scores and says, wow, you did really well. And I didn't think the test was that hard, really. But uh, I'm getting this channel going because I want to share some of my knowledge and, and experience in the automotive trades. I'm kind of uh, frustrated with uh, the, the whole employment uh, situation in the past 10 years for the simple reason that cars are disposable by uh, government standards. The uh, uh, Insurance industry figures that when they're five years old, they just, just throw them away like a toaster. And that's the whole mentality nowadays. It's disposable. Just, just go get something new. And uh, in 1991, I studied electronic engineering. And I got out of it in 92 because I found out that electronics are disposable. And there's no need for technicians other than certain... Uh, government agencies such as uh, communications and uh, if you've got all these people going into that trade and only only a handful of jobs so it was, it was time to uh, pursue something else and I took the information I learned in electronics and I applied it to the uh, repair industry and that made me very very smart with the electrical systems that were just coming out in the, in the uh, 80s and 90s but uh, here I am, this is uh, 2012, and I've been working in like tire shops and these little roadside rip-off shops, uh, etc. And uh, basically earn minimum wage. So I don't have much much faith in, in the uh, future of repair trades. I've been trying to get uh, hooked up with a dealership and, and basically they don't want to talk to me. They either say I'm... Uh, they just say I have no experience. Uh, some of these places say I'm overqualified. Uh, they don't like the fact that I have all this education. And, and due to the struggling economy, that it's difficult to hire somebody at a higher salary than, than somebody that's just willing to uh, work for whatever. Uh, basically, a grunt they can... Uh, teach to deceive consumers. The, this is basically who I am. I'm uh, currently looking to finish my business degree uh, to earn a bachelor's to get into a, a real position of management. And uh, I'd really like to uh, get a bunch of subscribers here. Thanks for your time.